Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a backyard garden. Uh, today it's September 3rd, 2020th. So we're on a very hot and dry week and uh, the weather is expected to, to get hotter uh, into the weekend. Um, Today it's not too bad, it's about maybe 80, to 80 plus to 90 degrees and within a couple of days uh, the, the weather forecast is going to be over 100 degrees. So it's very hot um, and we are almost, not quite, but we are at the peak of the growing season. A lot of my plants are already done for the season um, and I want to turn around and show you really quickly. So here's uh, some of the bitter melon you can see, they are ripened. And they open up and then the seeds just completely drop to the ground uh, so i have a lot of bitter melons that are just ripe, ripe ripening up very quickly because the weather is hot and they are close to the end of the season all right so here majority of this i think they're pretty much done for the for the season uh, not much is left in the soil in terms of the nutrients um, I, I can tell just looking at the plants, the leaves are much smaller than now. Uh, they are sh show, showing some signs of um, weathering. As you can see, they're kind of stressed out. They will continue to grow and even produce the fruit, but the fruit won't be, you know, nice and big. It will, you know, be like tiny like this. See that? And, and just like this, within a couple of days, uh, they will turn yellow. And that's it. So the fruits are, are getting smaller because they are almost at the end of the cycle and the, the soil is, is really depleted of nutrients. So eventually I have to remove this, but I'm gonna wait until about another week before I do that. So let me turn my camera this way. And today I wanna to talk about, oh, before I talk about all these beans here, I wanna show you guys something what I did, how cute. So I plant, I went out and got two more uh, cucumbers. These are the soyo, soyo variety, Japanese cucumber. I know, you, I know you're thinking this is almost close to the end of the season. Uh, why are you growing the cucumber? And you know, so I remove all the cucumber here and I plant two new ones. I revamp the soil, uh, add, mend the soil, add a lot of nutrients to soil in compost and planted two more. So, so far, seems like they are re they are reacting to the soil they are adjusting the soil one of them grow almost twice as big as the other one you can see there look at this from this angle look at this this guy is almost 12 inches and this one's barely you know pretty much the same when i first bought it all right i think we can maybe get some fruit out of them I don't, i'm not sure if the weather continues to uh get hot and sunny uh, then they probably will do okay. All right, so here I want to focus on this part of the garden right here. Um, this is our uh, yard bean, asparagus beans. Now I grow this almost every year and almost every year there are issues with this variety for whatever reason. The aphids just love this variety. Um, now they do they tend to do very well they very prolific they produce quite well but you now that's a big word but look at this all oh, this all aphids infested all right so I don't know what's the reason behind this maybe it has to do with the uh, you know fluctuation of the weather uh, maybe there's just too much moisture here amount of sunlight I don't know I, I can't really tell you but I noticed that this beans here typically attract a lot of aphids almost every single year. So look at this. Look at how bad it gets here. Look at the beans literally turn, literally turn black and cover with, with all the aphids. Look at that. Isn't that disgusting? Oh my God. So my plan is to, maybe this weekend, I'm probably going to remove all this here. Remove all... The beans uh, because you know the beans are covering my chili and by the way this black cobalt chili is doing extremely well and produce so much chili for me um, pretty much on top there that's seven feet so it, it grows to about seven feet uh, and is 
almost covered by some of this bean. So I'm going to remove the beans to allow the chili to continue to grow, continue to produce. Uh, like I say, I've been picking a lot of fruit from this chili plant and just gorgeous looking chili. Look at this red uh, pointing skyward. All right. So again, this is a, one of the asparagus beans um, that I grow every year. Um, very produced very well, very attractive, but tend to tend to attract a lot of aphids. Look at this. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the close up. Look at that. There's thousands and thousands of them literally everywhere. Uh, from the bottom to the top. Look at this. So again, I'm not gonna spray uh, my garden with any kind of pesticides. My only option is to either use water to spray the mouth, but I think it's kind of too late now because they've been infested. There's just too many of them. So my plan is just kind of removed them. Okay, remove the entire section here. Um, I already harvest plenty of beans already. I already gave plenty of them to my to my relatives, to my uh, yeah, to my relatives and my neighbor. So I already harvest a lot of them already. Uh, but they continue to produce. So this is a very prolific plant. They produce quite well. But the downside is that they attract a lot of aphids. Maybe it's just in my garden. All right. I'm not saying that it will happen in your garden, but I noticed that in my garden, this varieties tend to attract a lot of aphids. So having said that, uh, the only option for me left is to remove it and uh, start new, start new. All right, so that's it for our video for today. Uh, if you have any, any questions, any comments, uh, please let me know. And uh, I'll come back to make more videos for you guys. Uh, and by the way, I, I owe you guys one video, uh, one of the several, actually several of our viewers wants to know how I built or erect some of this trellis, okay? I think I do have a video uh, somewhere <laughs> in my library, library um, but I don't know which one. I have so many videos, I don't know which one. But let me find some time and with some of the supplies stuff, let me gather some of the material and I'll probably put together uh, a video for you guys on how to build this wonderful, easy trellis. All right, so thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our videos and please give me a thumbs up if you like and post comment if you like. Thank you and we'll see you back again soon. Bye for now.